This is how Kokiran Kingdom evolved from being a beloved game on the rise to a pay to win disaster. Now we need to clarify that Kingdom is a gacha game so there will be aspects where it caters to money spenders more. Let's go and put things into perspective. Do you recognize this image? It shows the trend results for Kingdom in the past 2 years, with this representing its peak and this being today. Let's keep these time periods in mind. Throughout the start until the end of its peak, which is around the Kakao update, there's only been 5 plus epic cookies, and they were being released every 2-3 to three months. Remember that for now. If you look at the previous 7 months of Kingdom from Moonlight update to today, there has been 5 epic plus cookies that have been released. And yes, there's one for every single update. Let's pay emphasis to these three especially. You might be familiar with things in gacha games called pity, right? It's where you're guaranteed to get something after pulling for a certain number of times. So if you don't get it on the 9th pull, the next will be the pity 4 star. That applies to Kukiran Rankinum, well, it used to. In previous super epic banners, you have a guaranteed chance to obtain a set item needed after a certain number of pulls as shown here. But the recent super epic banners have changed so that you have to get them by building points to the pity counter by pulling. The higher the rarity, the more points. Basically, you're at the mercy of RNG. Now why the heck would they do such change? I have no clue. Assuming your luck is on the lower side, there's a chance you won't even reach the pity despite using all the possible gacha currencies for that cookie. Without spending money of course. And in order for me to reach that 5,000 during my live stream, I had to pull about 25,000 of these comet candies and that is a total of 250 pulls that I had to do. It's almost like it's incentivizing players to spend money to get more chances at reaching the pity more times than one. And with the recent leaks that another super epic might be coming in the next part of this update, we'll see if there's change in the pity system. These are just leaks and not confirmed yet, so take it with a grain of salt. Speaking of being hard to get and being paid to win, let's talk about how ridiculous the prices have gotten. This package for either legendary costs around $66, which is almost the same price as the new Zelda game. The end note, you can buy up to 3 per week. Just think about that for a moment. Kingdom today seems to give the bigger money spenders a much greater advantage than the free to place or even just light spenders. Napsation and Pitai are good examples of this as they release back to back and both are in the same class, which combining the previous points makes it incredibly hard to save or build them up. Also, not to mention, there's ascension buffs on the new crystal gems and a good portion of the decorating aspect in Cookie Run Kingdoms locked behind paywalls. If even decorations are paywalled, what else is there that is paywalled? Why are we here? Huh? What was that sound? Ah, uh, Snapdragon Cookie, this special cookie that came with a Pitaya update that everyone is calling pay to win. What makes them pay to win is the way to hatch them. You get 3 tries per day using purity crystals as a free to play, but if you want the Snapdragon jellies that grant a better chance, it's locked behind a paywall and the worst part is there is literally no other way to get it other than the shop. No events, no game modes, none of that. So if you're free to play, this option is practically useless to you. Now if we take a look at the left here, this is Snapdragon Cookie's pity system of sorts, where as you pull more, the chance of hatching the egg increases until you reach this milestone and get the pity. There's a chance of critical hits that increase the meter more, but as with all games that have crit, this depends on RNG. Unless you've spent a lot of time in this game and are also incredibly lucky, getting them at the highest ascension will take you so much time. After some time, you'll get bored and want to just take a break from the game because it's becoming repetitive and tedious, which segues us into the next part. I asked people on my Discord server their opinions on Cooker and Kingdom regarding the state of the game, and it was a mix of neutral, positive, and negative opinions. But there is one thing that they have in common, the concept of fun. Ever feel like the game just becomes repetitive and even a chore at some point? Every time a new cookie drops or you log in every day to do the same thing, it's all the same cycle of, ooh, another cookie to grind and throw resources at, and doing that over and over again every day. Same cycle of logging in, claiming rewards, logging out. The same cycle of playing arena, guild battles, and playing the special episodes, the same cycle of getting EXP, fulfilling wishes, sending out trains, sending out the balloon, crafting materials, doing events, doing the same thing over and over and over again. <sighs> Sorry, I, I got a little carried away there. But but you get the idea. It's so damn repetitive, it almost feels like a chore instead of a fun game where it's fresh and new. I'm certain there are some of you who are experiencing burn from Kingdom or just general loss of interest and that's totally understandable. The meta is also really hard to keep up with as there's so many high rarity cookies in the meta and they're already hard enough for us free to place to obtain on top of the fact that there are some dudes who have high ascension cookies and high level magic candies which makes it so hard to climb without spending money or a lot of time in the game. While I know not everyone shares his opinion, 
opinion and some players do genuinely enjoy the game and if you're one of them, good for you. But from what I've seen, most of the player base are noticing this cyclish nature of Kingdom. Also, one final note, Kingdom's optimization kinda sucks. One second you're playing normally, the next the game crashes or even the game itself is always so laggy, it makes your phone hot. Like, really hot. Yeah, that's the say of Kukur and Kino for you. If you enjoyed the content, a sub would be gladly appreciated. My goal is to reach 10k, so every little bit of support is wonderful. If you want to see the video where it's all about of its mesh and the status behind it, click over here on this video.